What is up, guys, and welcome back. We've got Sweet Mama Brosy here with President Snow. Uh, haven't really seen him eat too much, but she's pretty well drained. I did put him on last night, and he ate a good bit. He is po You can't see he has a poop sticking out his butt right now, so he is pooping. Is Mama laying on your leg? No? Okay. But, uh, I don't know. Something says take him in the house, give him a bottle, but it could just be me. He spent all day over here yesterday. She took him back. And I'll pop that in here. Okay, so H is sitting over here. That's, that's her lovely legs. <laughs> oh, she's, oh good, oh my gosh. Is she licking him? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Don't wait, just shh. That's why I texted you because she was started, she was started being like chatty chatter, and and wanting to talk to the girls. And I thought, well, if she's at that stage, yeah. then maybe she'll feed President Snow. That's the whitest baby I've ever seen in my life. Well, his mom was that white when she was a baby. Yeah. Well, you got a lot going on there, guys. I mean, she almost looks like she has a prolapse. It's so, so swollen back there. Yeah, Mom, that's your baby. Here, we'll get out of the way. Oh, big yawns. Yeah, been through a lot. Hi, cutie we'll go. That's what I want, I like, for him to talk. She, she just chattered. Mm -hmm. She looks just very uncertain. Yeah. What job, buddy? Okay, guys, I just wanted to give you a little clip of him and we'll leave it here at that. And uh, we're just going to sit over here and let them kind of, we'll just play it out, see what happens. It's okay, Mama. But, I mean, no real issues, no real issues, guys, other than obviously she's super st uh, sore. She's still a little bit out of it. Her pain meds are either going to wear off today or tomorrow. I'm starting to think that I'm seeing some signs of them wearing off today. Because I got her up earlier just to check her teats and she didn't want me back in that area. She was okay with him getting back there, but not him getting back there with me also being back there. Hi, buddy. Good morning. Yeah, I know. You're beautiful. You're hungry. Do you have the hungers? We'll take you in and get your bottle. Just in case Mama's not feeling up to it. We're able to milk uh, a good bit of colostrum out of her to give to him. Mm. Hi, gorgeous. He doesn't feel overly full, but he doesn't feel skinny. So, hi. So I think that's what we'll do. We'll just, we'll make sure we get a good bottle in him. Make sure he gets a good meal. But I, you know, he, he's, he's up and walking. If, if she hasn't been feeding him, he would just be down in the dirt right now. Uh, he's too young to not eat every few hours and still live. So, Mommy, you're doing a good job. We know you're a good mom. We already know that. And, like, you deserve a medal for real. That was insane. Yeah, guys, I had, I'm about 185 pounds. And I, it took me just about everything of my upper half laying on her to hold her down. Uh, and some of the pulling that he was doing to get this little turd out was actually dragging her backwards. I mean, it was it was pretty bad, guys. It was really bad. Not pretty bad, really bad. <sighs> but let's not dwell on that because we have this little beauty who's alive and well. We have Sweet Brosy who is alive and well. Maybe not well, but alive, and she's a trooper. So I'm going to talk to the doc today and see if we can get any other meds just to keep her keep her pain level tolerable uh we'll work that out with him for sure <sighs> moon pie are you still limping 
Mooney, where's Gizzy? Mooney was up here with Gingy. Gingy knocked her off. She landed weird and she was limping around a little bit. It might have just been a, a little bit of pain in the initial impact. There's the, hey, <laughs> don't overshoot. <laughs> you little goof. We got Hungry Mungry. Yup. Get in there. Knock it around, man. Goodness. Miss Struzel. I would try to get some video of her up and about, guys, so you can see how well she actually does when she's, when she's up and walking around. She does lay around a lot. But when she gets up and moves, which I think she will today because it's going to be almost 70. It's not going to be sunny, but it'll be not raining, so... I think they'll make some trips to the pasture today and I'll try to get her going out to pasture. The other thing we're gonna do, we're gonna kick the doors open on this. <laughs> Just see what happens. Come on, babies. Who's gonna come out first? That is Miss Bashful, and I think we're going to name her um, Tootsie. So have Gummy, Tootsie, and Licorice. There's Grumpy. Yes, they, they look slightly the same. She has more white on top of her head than he does. And then Sleepy. Mr. Sleepy, are you... Are you... I'm concerned about your number of brain cells, sir. This is not unusual, guys. The babies get in here. They lay down under here. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Is that your baby? Are you guarding him? Are you just looking for food and now you're looking for pets? Okay, well, we'll give you pets and then we'll get you out of here. <laughs> Thank you. Do cute stuff. Hi. They'll lay down under here to sleep and then when they stand up, they're behind there. They always get out. Hey, rude. Hey. What's wrong with you? It's not your stall. You can't just beat up babies. All right, come on, grumpy man. Uh, yeah, I'll feed you in a minute. I will, I promise. You guys are adorable. Everybody's checking. Whose babies are these? That's a, that's a huge step down there. <laughs> okay, okay. The door, this is the first time I've opened for these guys. <sighs> the day I wanted to was, it got really, really cold. And you guys know how I feel about them getting trapped outside when it's cold if mama leaves them out on the porch or something. Hi, Mr. Man. Come for your morning scratches. <laughs> Chuckles. So, so this is all new to them. And then we had the uh, 60 mile an hour winds. So I didn't want anybody getting blown across the yard. So now we crack open the door and we let them out. Chuck, Chuck. Okay, you, you are literally your mother right over. What, you want to come up here so you can stare into my soul? <laughs> no. You little ornery thing. Okay, so that's Licorice's baby. So we have Sleepy, Grumpy, and what we're going to be calling um, Tootsie. Miss Tootsie. Oh, what? Okay, good morning. So now we're over here with Sprinkles' babies. And if you guys didn't catch it in the last video, I know that video was really scattered. Uh, I am physically and mentally exhausted after the weekend, or I was when I shot that video. I got actually some good sleep last night. Came over several times in the night to check on Mama and President Snow. <laughs> it's going to be a few days before these guys get out for sure. Oh, she is doing very well. This is Honey. So I was going to tell you guys we named her Honey and we're probably going to keep her. She's got some horns in there, but I think they're actually, she's actually pulled. They're just little buds and as big as she would be, as big as she is, they would be much larger than that because this little guy is half her weight and his are very prominent and you can feel them quite easily. So sometimes you'll get a giraffe pull or, or a gumdrop pull where there's a little bit of material in there, but it never produces anything. So we have Mr. Glitch, who's got the fuzzy head. 
and is the most adorable and who tried to die and he's doing he's doing exceptionally well there's nothing nothing going on there that's the boy and then we have stitch we named him stitch and since we're doing the movie theme we just went ahead with the lilo and stitch theme so glitch stitch and lilo this little girl is lilo uh glitch and stitch are not spoken for yet for you guys on the list, um, somebody on the list does want Lilo if she makes it that long. And Honey is probably going to stay here. And if not, she definitely has about three buyers, maybe four buyers that want her already. The list is getting long, guys. Get on the list. The first person comes. First person on the list comes. They pick all the babies they want. And then they leave. And then the second person on the list comes and they pick all the babies they want. Buy the babies, take the babies home, and then they leave. That's how the list works. You get on the list. When it's your turn, you come and pick out all the babies you want. Oh, man down. Oh, sleepy. <laughs> do, do, do. Yep. That's called freedom, boys and girls. What are you doing, Miss Lady? Hi. Who's Buck calling? Chuck. Chuck Norris. Oh, such a big man. Mr. Gizzy. He's got one ear almost all the way up, and the other one half flopped still. <laughs> uh, somebody just told me they want him this morning, so... He will be available unless for that person, unless somebody on the list ahead of them buys him. What's that, big man? <laughs> well, come over here and get some... What? I see you. Oh, my goodness. Sorry, guys, I was... Popped out here. I wasn't exactly finished talking about these little goobers. Um, so anyway, Glitch was, is um, 2.8 pounds. And that, we just weighed them yesterday just because of everything that's going on. So he's got a couple days that he's been putting on some weight. So I don't know if he came out about two pounds or not. You don't worry about weighing a goat when they're trying to die and everybody's trying to die and it's cold and then more babies pop out and then everything goes crazy so we got him weighed yesterday he is 2.8 this one's 3.4 uh where are you babes lilo i believe she was 4.2 and then honey is 4.6 pounds all pounds guys so that's where they are go out here and show you these guys <laughs> Okay, it's hard to... Uh-oh, got some playmates. What's up, Chuck? <laughs> so Grumpy, the big boy, he's uh, 4.6 pounds. Oh. Tootsie is 4.2. Where'd you go, Sleepy? Oh, it's on now, guys. Sleepy's 3.8. <laughs> oh, y'all... We are for realsies about to get into some zoomies. I can't get away from them. They're, they're hanging around my feet. Go zoom over there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ugh. What? Oh my goodness. Ugh, got some piles on the floor, guys. Just now got around to sweeping up the floor this morning, so I'm get those out of here, but I wanted to get everybody out of their stalls, and there you go, guys. There's Struzo down there trying to find some food. Hi, Mama. Got to give her a minute once she gets up, and then she'll get to, get to moving. But anyway, I wanted to show you guys the babies. Bring you in on this situation over here. See, she's he's wanting her to get up. That's why he's talking to her. But... Uh, 
you know, she's most likely in some pain and is just wanting to stay down. I'll give her a few minutes and then what I'll do is if I, when I, before I leave here to head back to the house, I will try to get her up, see if we can get him on there. And if not, I'll go ahead and take him to the house and feed him. Just to be sure, just to be sure. I know she's feeding him. I know she's feeding him. He's peeing, pooping, and he's still alive. So she's definitely feeding him. She's been taking really good care of him. You know, she's just just in that state of mind. She's in pain, and she's not going to get up unless she has to. She has been eating very well. Just hay. She has not touched her food. She only drank about a quarter of her molasses water from, from kidding. So I'm going to go ahead and replace that just in case she wants something warm. A little sugar boost. Everybody else, guys, doing well. All the other ladies are angry. Well, first they're angry because I locked them outside. <laughs> Hi, good morning. I got it. I'm running out of room, so you have to go outside so I can milk. It's just the way it goes. It's only going to get worse, people. But today, guys, it's supposed to be gorgeous. Close to 70, I think. 60 or 70, I don't remember. Anywho. I don't think you guys really care too much. <laughs> but I got a lot of water to haul. Just everybody, it's just spring, guys. It feels good to be spring. You can see, well, you're probably not going to be able to see it on the camera, but the whole forest is just starting to pop and everything's turning green. Yeah, the camera's not really picking it up too well, but you can see, you can see it right there best. My favorite time of year. Ah, so, all the other moms, yeah, she is still, still well within her window, guys. So, we got a little jump the gun a little when the shearer was here, but, oh, hello. This is a thing. <laughs> don't eat the wool. I don't know why they always eat the wool. I just, I don't know. I don't know why. All the goats do it. Even the big goat. She definitely looks like she is uh, starting to, to develop a bit of an udder back there. Hmm. Interesting. So maybe sooner than later. I'm just, I'm not guessing anymore. Just, <sighs> this year has been crazy. All the goats are being little sneaky little buggers. Sneaking in here and hiding their signs of labor and then popping out babies as soon as I walk out of the barn. Not cool. Gummy. <laughs> well, Gummy already looks like Moon Pie. Where's Mooney? I mean, Gummy and Mooney could be sisters. Half the time when we're in the in the house looking out in the pasture at him, it's hard to tell from three, four hundred feet away which one's which. So I thought it was. I thought it was. I thought Moon Pie was in here next to Gizzy, who also looks like Gummy. Not related. Frosty mom, are you going to start nursing all kinds of babies? That uh, That is not <laughs> not your job. Hey, come here, you sweet little angel. You don't have to feed all the babies. <laughs> I don't know that. I still have no proof that she actually was, but. Oh, oh. Nope, a little buck fight. Did you guys hear the, the grunting, the snorting and grunting? Oh my gosh, I don't know where to point the camera. Everybody's being silly. Hi, angel face. <laughs> Guys, we have decided we're going to go ahead and dry off Miss Frosty. And we are going to breed her to put her in line for fall milking with gummy and sugar pie. Just around the corner right there. So we'll be breeding gummy, sugar... <laughs> oh my gosh, Frosty, gummy, and sugar pie for fall... We're gonna throw a cookie in there as well, just always hoping. I would love to get a cookie baby and just carry on her her legacy. I don't know, can I just stand here and hold the camera and watch baby goats run around, guys? <laughs> oh, wait, let's see what's happening here. They start acting bucky at a week old, guys. Sometimes they come out acting bucky. I mean, acting bucky. They're 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 blubbering at each other. You know the, the noise the bucks make when they're when they're wanting to breed the ladies. Like, bah, 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 bah. Spitting with their tongue, grunting, stomping their feet in the front. Hi, little angel. 
We might keep her too, guys. We'll see. She is blue-eyed, pulled, and we don't have one of these, so. <laughs> and, and your mom, licorice, guys, is just her, her milk pedigree. Uh, let me see if we get, where'd she go? Anyway, I was going to show you her massive butter. Oh, is mommy still in the house? Oh, no, we got a little buck fight going on here. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Gizzy, I'm so happy you got some guys your size to play with. That's amazing. Loving it. Loving it. But we have to get summer milk tested. And that will make her, I believe, uh, I have to look for sure, but that would make her a seven-star milker. And then if, if she passes her milk test, which she should have no problem doing that. And then if we get gummy milk tested, that would make her an eight-star milker. And that would be amazing. But everybody has to pass the milk test. <laughs> Chuck, what's going on, buddy? Just, just doing Chuck stuff. All right, guys, I think that's it, really. I mean, that catches everybody up. I'm in a much better place today. I hope you guys can tell that. Like, just <sighs> have a little bit of anxiety with this situation, but hoping it'll resolve itself in just time and patience and we'll work through everything going on over here so it'll be good it'll be good yep faux show i think where licorice just left she literally just left she went out to pasture she, your mom left she's like y'all can just hang out don't get into anything don't break anything don't answer the door Right? <laughs> you have hay on your face. <laughs> Can I look at you from the side? You're such an adorable little thing. Oh my gosh, Mr. Sleepy. I think somebody's gonna take you. You're such a sweetie. <laughs> awesome. All right guys, have a good one. Thanks for watching, thanks for sharing. And we'll see you next time.